Cross-examination to AC and a pretty guy. Stupid clarification. They're currently evidence. We know where they said there's no root cause and there's no uh, possibility of internal strife. Let's all just workplace box impact extra a piece of drove evidence indicates only specific evidence in the context in the context of whether or not water shortage ladder increasingly educated Americans give access to the community coverage. So in people native border conflict. Many people have been involved in a lot of the evidence and the mystery of the shortage. The more the ice melts, the more the Arctic ones will spring. The mystery of the Arctic ones will spring. College policy debate is an intellectual game that the best and brightest students from all around the country play. Every year, a topic is selected that is a current issue of vital political significance. The students in teams of two do a great deal of research to prepare arguments and to compete against teams from other universities. In, in fact, most people's preconceived notions of what debate is are wrong. Uh, we're generally a group of over-caffeinated, shabbily dressed uh, individuals in college classrooms, uh, you know, talking and yelling at each other at a high rate of speed and throwing cards around. It's a game in which we uh, fight against each other with everything we've got. The University of Kansas has competed in intercollegiate debate since 1885. For over 60 years, the program has seen an incredible amount of success. KU has qualified more teams to the national debate tournament than any other school in the country. They have appeared in the NDT for the last 43 consecutive years, winning five championships and making 14 Final Four appearances. The Kansas debate program has been consistently ranked among the top programs in the nation. We are historically the most successful public school uh, in college debate in the country. It, it is, for me, uh, pretty humbling to be able to be part of that tradition. The philosophy of the Kansas program, that it is every member of the squad works together to help one another succeed, and it's uh, a family that bonds together, works together, uh, and has fun together when we debate. At the University of Kansas, students debate because they love the competition. They don't do it because of financial obligation. They do it for the love of the argument. Kansas debaters have a passion for what they do. We don't have a lot of scholarship money, meaning we can't uh, go after the big people in the high school debate circuit. Uh, the other thing that sort of separates us from sort of the other schools that's sort of to our disadvantage is that they get to hire full-time coaches. And all of the coaches, except for Dr. Harris, are grad students. So in addition to helping with the debate team, they have to do a full course load into doing their master's thesis too. In the end, we compete in this because it is something that we love. Wake Forest, a tournament that hosts 142 teams from around the nation and is a culminating tournament for the fall schedule. And the Wake Forest tournament is probably historically the most important and significant regular season tournament that we have. The debate tournaments are physically and emotionally draining. The days last from 7 a.m., 6.30 a.m. when we were leaving the hotel uh, to we return at about 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock at night each day, and then we work late at night to prepare for the next day. So it is largely a marathon that you engage in to debate over that lengthy period of time. Your mind is never at rest. A lot of the times debaters end up forgetting to even eat food because they're so busy concentrating on this, which only compounds the physical effects of the tournament. The University of Kansas has brought three teams to the competition. Kansas's top-ranked team is Kansas KQ, which consists of Sean Kennedy and Dylan Quigley. During the first two days, each team debates in eight preliminary rounds. Each round lasts about two hours. Of all 142 teams, only the top 32 make it to day three. This season is a particularly difficult season because there are very talented teams that returned intact from the year before. This was a year in which there was not a lot of attrition of the top teams. Four of the top five teams in the country came back intact with the same debaters that they had last year. At the end of the preliminary rounds, all three Kansas teams qualify for competition in the single elimination out rounds. Kansas KQ, KP, and CW are ranked number five, 12, and 13 respectively. The tournament ends after the first round for Kansas KP when they are eliminated by the underranked Townsend CK team. Kansas CW's run in the tournament also ends in the first round after facing Texas.
Kansas KQ faces Vanderbilt for the second time and prevails, becoming the only Kansas team remaining in the tournament. Kansas debate has a motto that you're not de done debating until everyone's done debating. So as soon as Wilkins and I were knocked out of the tournament, our job was to help assist uh, Kansas KQ in any way possible. The underrated Townsend CK team is the opponent for Kansas KQ in the second round. As the day continues, only eight teams remain. Kansas KQ now faces the higher seeded and unconventional team of Loyola Marymount. The quarterfinals debate was actually probably our closest debate uh, of the entire uh, out round day. I'm actually suffering. You should do something about it in your 2AC. Well, what are you suffering from? From your 1AC. Fear of excess, fear of excessive information. Well, fear of, that information may come too, too late. They do not have a single piece of 2AC evidence that speaks to our author or any of our arguments. They read a bunch of generic cards, which are pretty fucking terrible, that don't even address the internal questions. If, of the uh, their other arguments are true, then we should just implode debate. It's probably vote on fermentation to do the alternative, because fuck them, that's what. Sean and Dylan struggled through most of the debate, but managed to escape defeat with arguments they developed late in the game. After Kansas KQ's narrow victory over Loyola, they entered the final four against Harvard, PJ, who is ranked number one in the nation. Harvard PJ has a legacy of success that clearly places Kansas KQ as the underdog. First off, the economy needs a point as it'll prove now from Bush and Ruffin and Ruffin back in 2000. And it's a point of view. 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 Another close victory places Kansas KQ in the final round of the Wake Forest tournament. It's 11 o'clock at night. The team is tired, hungry. It's been a long, exhausting day for Kansas KQ. The opponent, Emory IW. Last season, they were ranked the number one team in the nation. Currently, they're ranked number three. In the high school circuit, Stephen Wheel was considered one of the best debaters of all time. Plan! The United States Federal Government should exempt graduates from accredited universities. The United States can be employed based each quote on the private category system. If you hold an advanced reason science or technology, then it's one of semiconductors. U.S. semiconductor dominance is slipping its direct sold of these caps to the above nine. U.S. semiconductor means the U.S. bot then fronts and sets by the city force and geographic sense. What piece of evidence did you read for that question? For alternative creates better technology. Well, I didn't read any cards that said that specifically, but you okay, can test the violence. Solid, how does the affirmative see. cause structural violence? Is that just we steal their workers, hurts their economy? Yeah, definitely. We are not obsessed with speed and slow innovation. We're obsessed with optimism. They have no trickle advantage, or they collapse the possibility of innovation because they lead to fast growth, which means there's no about what this impacts. We have to fight the other day, and we can deal with all the environment shit in the future. And the alternative actually doesn't do anything to solve for the environment or structural violence because all their impacts are inevitable. One a.m. While the judges deliberate. Some debaters get some rest. The wait for the result is long, and the anticipation builds. Finally, the three judges come to a decision. In the final round of the 54th National Franklin R. Shirley Classic. The decision is a two to one for the negative from King. There are no cheering crowds to greet you when you return from a debate tournament. You don't receive recognition on your campus for your achievements. There are no external rewards for being a successful debater. This is an activity where very few appreciate the value in what you do. The reality is, this is an activity that you engage in because you're passionate about it. And it's something that you love.